When developing a game using Unity, you constantly go into and out of play mode to test changes. By default, it takes a few seconds until play mode really starts, even with empty or small projects and scenes, and this load time only gets longer the more your project grows. There are options to accelerate this. Go to Edit, Project Settings, which I got docked right here, then to Editor, scroll all the way down and tick this box that says Enter Play Mode Options. Now if we press play, we almost instantly enter play mode. Hooray! There are two sub options here and we just disabled them both by clicking the box above. We can re-enable them by ticking the boxes beside them and if we enable both, it's the same as if we had disabled the enter play mode options altogether. Let's have a closer look at what they do. Domain Reload resets the scripting state of your project, which resets all static fields and registered handlers each time you enter play mode. Let's have a look at a quick example. So we have Domain Reload enabled and we have this static variable called counter and it ticks up each time this one awakes. So with Domain Reload enabled, it doesn't tick up at all because Domain Reload resets this counter. So it's going to be zero the first time and zero the second time and each consecutive time. But now if we disable Domain Reload, this one doesn't get reset when entering play mode. So it's going to tick up. So now it's going to be one and now it's going to be two. And you got to be careful with this because this can cause buggy behavior in your editor. Make sure to either not use any static variables at all or reset them properly upon entering or exiting play mode in a place appropriate for your game. There are multiple ways to do this. You could use mono behavior methods like awake or start, on enable, on disable or on destroy, but they might be called multiple times over the life cycle of your game or from different objects, which might not be what you want because we're using static variables here. It kind of defeats the purpose. You can also use the editor application play mode state changed event. Just be aware that this one uses the Unity editor namespace. So make sure to put the code into an if Unity editor defined to avoid build errors. The last and probably best option is to use the runtime initialize on load method attribute. This one runs after awake and can take an argument of type runtime initialize load type. Unity's documentation recommends using subsystem registration here for resetting static fields and event handlers. Let's try out this last option for our example and put in a static init method that resets the counter each time. So back inside the editor and we still have reload domain disabled, so we're still in the fast mode and now if we enter, it goes fast and the counter is always reset to zero just like we want it. One final note on Domain Reload, if you are using plugins from the Asset Store or another source, be cautious. They might use static variables and not work properly without Domain Reload. If you happen to come across such behavior, you can try contacting the creator of the plugin about the issue and they might just release a fix. Scene reloading is much simpler. When enabled, Unity destroys all scene objects and reloads the scene from disk when entering play mode. When disabled, Unity only resets the scene's modified contents, which can be faster. When comparing these two options, disabling domain reload is much faster from the get-go. So let's do a quick comparison. Here we reload the scene and it's still almost instantly because we are not reloading the domain. On the other hand, if we are reloading the domain and not reloading the scene, we have a few seconds to wait. So this reload scene option only comes more into play when your scenes grow much bigger. These settings don't affect builds of your game in any way, just playing in the editor. If you want your scenes in the editor to behave the same as in your builds, disable the enter play mode options altogether. It is highly efficient to optimize tasks and actions that are executed a lot. It not only saves time, but also nerves. 
Entering play mode faster is one such optimization, but like most of them, it comes at a cost. So be cautious when using these settings, but I highly recommend giving them a try. I'll leave a link to the documentation in the description and I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial.